promised from my other video, the other uh, axe that they provide at Norse Tradesmen is the Bearded Axe. Um, I already did a pretty decent unboxing video, but here we go again just to show it off again and talk about it a little bit. It looks gorgeous. Comes with a leather sheet. It does feel very sturdy. Uh, I see a lining between the wood and the axe on the top of the handle. The leather work goes all the way around the handle. There is a wedge and I can only assume it's either for show or they really have drilled through the blade and the axe piece to the wood handle. If that's the case, very durable. It does need sharpenings. All right, and now for the throwing aspect. I apologize, there is not many, uh, not a lot of throwing content that ended up happening with this ax. Uh, the reason for that being is either A, I didn't really like the way it ha the throw looked, or B, um, well, you'll see. <laughs> So what's the end result? This axe may be gorgeous, but um, this axe also broke. Uh, but this one, <laughs> it broke in a lot shorter period of time. If memory serves me right, I threw it about maybe 10 times and then it broke. It is what it is. <laughs> it's a gorgeous axe. Um, another axe that's definitely uh, capable of being rebuilt. Um, I don't know if I want to go into it and try and rebuild it. I'd rather just buy a new one um, and put it up for show, maybe behind me like the other two axes that I have there that'll also be going down range eventually. Um, I do want to say that I, I'm kind of happy it broke because I got to I, I get to dissect it a little bit. So as, me as mentioned in the unboxing, they got these these pieces right here, and I couldn't tell whether or not it was for show or if it's real. And looking inside, they are very real. I don't know if you can see that from, you know, the fact that I'm all the way over here. But yeah, they they go about uh, they go almost all the way in through the me the middle. Um, this is a metal divider piece that helps split the wood so that it it uh, clenches up inside there. Um, I would say that the impact hitting the target multiple times definitely shook this up to the extent that um, I don't think the metal prongs uh, knew it hit them, if you will. All in all, uh, the iron work though is gorgeous. I just think that if you're going to throw this axe because you want to try something new and you want to look cool while you're throwing an axe and not just any ordinary axe that's out there that's provided, um, I would look into a means of reinforcement. Like the previous mentioned axe that is broken as well, um, all it needs is taping on the top and taping on the bottom. And of course, I don't really necessarily want to do that because I feel like it would take away from the visual aesthetic of the axe, but it may have to happen if you want to do it. All in all, it is a gorgeous axe. The iron work is phenomenal, um, but after about 10 throws, um, it officially broke. So. Great axe, just um, don't throw it downrange. <laughs> and if you're going to throw it downrange, be prepared that you're 
you're going to end up breaking it. So it is what it is. Um, stay tuned for other axes to come. I got the SOG throwing tomahawk. Um, and I, it's kind of funny that I didn't start this channel off doing those first. Because when you're military and you hear the word SOG, the name SOG, you, you get a little, you know, nostalgia or whatever the feeling might be because of every time you're at the PX looking for sunglasses, looking for a knife, looking for a Gerber, looking for just about anything at a PX or a commissary. Um, like, comment, subscribe, get ready for future videos like these two guys sitting behind me as well. Uh, the Black Rifle Coffee Axe and the Grim Frost Axe. So, um, yeah, catch y'all later.